Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl from Nungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Everything else that you guys do is very much appreciated. And a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Today we're going to be reacting to what struck me the most about the Quran. Yusuf Islam Kat Stevens. Um, also feel free to check out my blog, Morning Coffee with Fanny or Life of Blue. And just enjoy the content that I put out there. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. When I first read the Quran, what chapter struck me the most and why? Well, we've got to, uh, for me, the Quran, of course, was an unknown commodity. I didn't understand what this book was, so what, what is it? And, uh, and, and so, from the very beginning, it's striking. From the very beginning, it begins in the name of Allah, God, the Lord of the universe. Well, when you come to a statement like that, you know, immediately you're struck. So I think that um, from that moment, of course, we all look at books. Uh, and when we're trained to look at books and look for authors, you know, even the Bible. Yeah. 1,000 authors, I don't know how many, <laughs> maybe you know how many authors there are, but I mean, that, so many have put their hand into writing the Bible. But in the Quran, of course, you don't see, they don't say written by, you know. And then you say, and then it find, you find that it's Bismillah rahman rahim It's actually in the name of Allah. It's coming from God. And that's, that's, that's powerful. So powerful. But mo what's, what was most powerful was the continuous reminder of the oneness because every, every you know if you're looking at which I've done going through different religions even yoga it talks about oneness it's all about oneness and when I read that Isa you know Jesus he was talking about oneness Moses was talking about oneness Abraham oneness all this was the most powerful message and I think you mentioned it to me before you said was it Tawheed and, and it was the most powerful thing that, that you learn is Tawheed. Um, and, um, so th and then, of course, the heart has to be moved. You know, the mind is one thing, the heart. And that came with Surat Yusuf, Surat Joseph. And, and when I can, and they said, there's always, and somebody told me recently, there's always one, there's one verse that will open the heart of every soul. In the Quran, there's one verse that will open the heart of every soul. And there was one verse which opened my heart, and it was to do with the moment when Joseph was faced with his brothers, and they were talking badly about him because Bin Yamin was a, accused of stealing. And they said, oh, um, it's like his brother before him. He was, in other words, implicating that the brother before him was a, was, was a thief as well. And that was Joseph. And he was listening. And my, my heart broke. Um, yeah. So that was the moment where I knew that this book was for me. And for us, actually. <laughs> everybody, I mean, every, well, there's a verse in, every, in the Quran for every soul. Every soul. <laughs> but I knew that one was for me. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I guess we all have uh, different strains that actually touch us when we listen to them. And here he's explaining what. Uh, what that moment was like for him, which is very, very amazing. I always love listening to such um, stories. They, they're quite encouraging, if I should say. Other than just learning, you're finding these people are out there telling their stories. Hopefully, someone will listen to this and it may be 
it may be speaking to that person and they could follow this guy or at least see some truth to how the world is and what it is that's going on otherwise this was amazing it's a shame that it's quite short and this was suggested quite a long time ago so and if you haven't reacted to something that you suggested you have to bear with us life is life is happening and sometimes we may miss your suggestions otherwise we try as best to um react to each and everything that you guys suggest otherwise hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did if there's something that you want us to react to drop us a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and you if you want to talk about the message of this video feel free to comment and i'll be more than glad to read them make sure to, um and i'll see you in the next video